What's going on YouTube? Geosan right here. So in today's video, I have important things to discuss about the jailbreak for iOS 16 all the way up to 16.1.2. There is something that you have to do right away if you want to jailbreak, especially if you made the mistake to update to 16.2, but not only. This video is brought to you by any unlock, a software that allows you to unlock the screen passcode if you forgot it, bypass MDM, remove SIM lock, and even unlock the screen time passcode. Definitely check the program out in the link below. It contains a lot of useful tools. So as you probably know and if you check out here on our website you can find out that 16.2 is currently the latest version for all iOS 16 devices and that is perfectly normal and 16.1.2 is no longer signed. Well as I said in my previous video iOS 16.2 does patch important vulnerabilities as you can see in here including a couple of kernel vulnerabilities the most important being this one over here by Ian Beer which is a kernel vulnerability that was already used in an application for iOS 16.1.2 and Lower, which allows you to change the font on your device. You can see an example in here. This device is not jailbroken, it just uses this application which was already released. So this vulnerability was already put to great work. However, this vulnerability could in theory be used for jailbreak purposes as well. For example, to update Sheena 520's jailbreak to support iOS 16. Now remember that this vulnerability supports all devices, including the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, 12, 13 and so on. It supports all new devices. So what's the important thing you need to do? Well, if you're running iOS 16.2 or if you're running an older version like iOS 12, 13, 14 and even some 15 versions, if you don't want to stay anymore on those old versions and you want iOS 16, you can still update iOS 16.1.2. Yes, I know it says in here it's not signed, but you can still update to 16.1.2 and take advantage of this vulnerability over here, which could be used for jailbreak purposes. How can you do that? Well, with delayed OTA. Delayed ODA is basically a trick that we come up with in the community which takes advantage of the enterprise certificates or enterprise profiles because for enterprises Apple allows you to actually install an unsigned iOS version like 16.1.2 for a longer period of time after it was unsigned for 90 days or so. But there is a catch, your device has to be supervised for that. You can enable supervision on your device and you can download the proper profile. This website in here has all the profiles as you can see over here and with that profile until the profile expires for example for 16.1.2 is going to be in March you will still be able to install 16.1.2 because your device believes it's actually an enterprise device a supervised device which means you can take advantage of that loophole so while for the normal people it's all unsigned and only 16.2 remains if you do the delayed OTA you can actually get 16.1.2 even at this point Point. And I would definitely recommend you to do it right now. Do not wait any longer. If you're running 16.2, you jump the gun, definitely go ahead and go back to 16.1.2 using the delayed OTA method. If you don't know how to use this method, definitely tell me in the comment section down below and I will make a tutorial. It's actually quite easy to use and there are many tutorials available on the internet. Don't stay on 16.2. It's pretty bad for jailbreak purposes because all these vulnerabilities in here have already been patched in there. And boy there are many vulnerabilities that we can use here. It's also important to mention that this may not work on the iPhone 14, iPad Pro M2 and iPad 2022. So if you have any of those devices this may not work for you. It's not 100% guaranteed that this doesn't work on those devices but so I heard. So yeah if you have any of those devices it may not work. For the rest of the devices iPhone 13, 12, 11 and stuff like that this should work fine. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time. Peace out.